Alrighty, howdy neighbors, and welcome back to Undertale. Last time I met Sans here, um, and I, after that, I went back and I got one more thing of junk food because that's all the money I had. I just saved, so we're gonna see. Throne room. A coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Games. It's empty. And you're going in. <laughs> da -da -da. Where am I going? Hello. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. I will never be ready, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and save one more time. Oh. Ah, no! It's another throne covered in a white sheet. A throne. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Yay! That's much worse. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. Ooh, let's go! What the? That's the barrier? This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Guess we're just gonna continue. I see. This is it then. Ready? Six minutes old. What? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. Seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. No! <laughs> Asgore attacks. I don't have mercy! <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Hey, okay. Asgore, talk. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh. Hey, Sim is Toriel. Tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Nope. Oh, this is a lot more intense than Toriel. 
friendly tell Escort to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Escort's attack dropped. Escort's defense dropped. Oh, 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 wow. I don't like this very much. He's talking won't do any good. Jesus. God has left the chat. Junk food. Tell I have. So everyone knows I'm officially out of healing items. Spinning! Why must they spin? Oh, I'm chilling. Okay, I'm about to die. Yep. Don't lose hope. Game, stay determined. This is Asgore's voice. Here we go. Ready? Talking to. Oh. God, each attack does five damage. And we're done. Not paying attention. Oh, my God, that attack is the worst. of the worst, me! I think I'm gonna go grind some more money. So it'll actually be just a little bit. Okay. So I got a whole bunch of junk food. So I should be okay. I'm ready for you now, this time. Let's go. Get this out of the way. Destroy it. Let's get started.
hate. Oh, Jesus. Got to it is. Ah. I can't. There we go. <laughs> Just let me stay still. This movie is not my forte. I'm doing much better this go around. Oh god. I'm doing much better this go around. I was moving though. I should have eaten. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Almost half. Here we go. Halfway, baby, let's go! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He has left the chat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna lose your aggro. in the middle. 235. This junk food is making me strong. Drunk with power. Azgore has low HP. I know. <gasps> 493? How? What? Why? Uh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. If it anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. And I would destroy humanity. 
and let monsters rule the surface in peace. So, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? The surface is not good, buddy. <laughs> I don't know how to tell this to you, but if you're on the surface, everyone knows. Human. I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. It would be like, like a family. Oh, look at his face. I hate you. It's the flower whose name I forgot. There he is. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing! And this world- Oh Jesus, no, he has souls! Is kill or be killed? <laughs> Hello? Girl, let's shut my game off. <laughs> uh, hold on. I would like to play a game, please. Please. Hi, Monica. I would like to play a game. Will you please? I would like- oh, there we go. F4. Is it not- Long ago, two races ruled over the earth. Humans and monsters. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. Level 999! Oh, Jesus! Uh, restart. No, restart. Oh god. Continue. I guess. Whatever. I can't open any- I can't open my menu or anything. The end. I like to save. Oh. Oh no. File erased? Captain Douchebag. Howdy! It's me, Flowey! Flowey the Flower! I owe you a huge thanks! I really did a number on that old fool! Without you, I never could have gotten past him! And now, with your help, he's dead! And I got the human souls! Boy! I've been up here for so long! It was great to have a soul inside me! Hmm, a few of them wriggling! Oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everybody, I will show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, I forget about escaping your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear into your bloody tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. 
Okay. Oh, what in the Sam Hill is this? This is horrifying. This is horrifying. Oh, Mama, no. I hate all of this. Whoa! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. This is not what I'm looking for. Woo! Fight, 1 HP. Cool. <laughs> well, okay. I have had less fun in my time. Warning! <laughs> this is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up! <laughs> and then a series of pause. Stop crashing my game! You know what? I was just gonna- I was gonna take all the crashes out? No, leave it in. Leave the crashes in. I'm saying this for future me. When I watch this and go, why? Come on, baby. You're to see my desktop so much today. <laughs> Do you really think I was going to be satisfied? Killing you only one time? I would like to get the show on the road, though. Because I feel like I got kind of far last time. Like, I feel like it did pretty okay. <laughs> this is rare, because, like, I suck at games. Alright, let's go. Ah! By one saved. I saw that. Light blue. It's light blue. Oh, 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 okay. Call for help. Thank you. I'm fully healed. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Why did he have atom bombs? Ah. Oh hey, now it's doing four damage. My head is hurting. Alright, orange. Here we go. I'm not cl- oh, okay. I'm gonna die. File 2 saved. There's no second file! Oh, that's rude! Oh, oh god. Alright, dark blue. Go 
to pay attention. Oh. 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 Ew. I don't like these guys. Fifteen. Stop. 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 God. I was doing so good. I was doing so well. I'm so thoroughly upset. Like, thoroughly upset. If I only had 47 pounds of junk food, that would really help. <laughs> All right. Pathetic. Now you're really gonna die. Thank you for skipping the opening cutscene. Let's go. No, why are we already at atom bombs? Why are we already at bombs and flies? Oh, it kind of saved my progress. Oh, because it's his, it's his save file and he saved after I heard him. Like an idiot. All right, purple. Spider. God. Alright, file saved. Here we go. Alright, green. What's green? I'm cooking some tasty damage. easy to get. Ah, flies. No, not the flies. Oh god. Yellow. Oh god. It's a whole gun. Hi <laughs> yellow. <gasps> All of them! Yes. I am in need of some assistance. Souls are helping me. Oh, it's defense dropped to zero. Yes. I'm 
that one. Ah, uh, no. Ah, I hate the worms. He's like screaming. Oh my god. Stop screaming, please. I hate this. Yes. No, no. This can't be happening. Who are you? He's just gonna reload to save Amy. Yep. You idiot. I have a little bit of HP left. Hehehe. <laughs> Do you really think you can defeat me? I'm the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Typically. And golly, that's right. You're worthless friends. Can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry to darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. Is he what good that does you? You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. We're doing it again. Look at his face. What? How'd you... Well, I'll just... Load failed. Oh no! Where are my powers? The souls! What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Sucks to suck, huh, Flowey? Oh. Hi. What are you doing? Really, I think I learned anything from this? No. Then we won't change anything. Kill me is the only way to end this. Liar. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Undertale. That was the main story of Undertale! And we'll be getting all the endings of this game. There's no need to worry your little head about it. Progresso. Hey. 
Is anyone there? Well, let's leave a message. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's in... She stated a new policy. That all humans who fall down here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us lose hope. So, uh, hey! If we're not giving up down here, just to give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take? But we'll get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh. Uh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Eh, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention to human. I, the Great Papyrus. I'm now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just one of the flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And, I'm helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find us a way to get out of here. The Nine is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping it seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Ow. Oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Please don't nugget the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There is only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't nugget the skeleton. Anyways, now that I'm working as Alpha's lab assistant, we're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh yeah, and I have a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Do you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? That's not the point. Hey, sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he. Ah, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Natalia, snap out of it. I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can't get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Friends, in quotes. Hey! Wherever you are. It was better than here. Took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. I feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is, even the queen! Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... Heh, <laughs> she says she's busy. What if she knew who we were talking to? We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back anytime, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. That thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut the short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? My mind for now. See ya, punk. Click. Why? Why you let me go? I don't realize that being nice just makes you get hurt. Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been... Oh. How much they've been set back by you. It hurts, doesn't it? You've just gone through without caring about anyone. You would have to feel bad now. But... Oh, so I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why do things still end up like this? Why? 
Is that really that unfair? Say, what if I told you? I need some way for you to get a better ending. You have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Elphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? You just got a key to your happiness. See you soon. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. Do I dare to just go for the good- I'm just gonna go for the good ending. Here we go, baby! I have to go see Alphys. Sorry, Asgore, I have a coin to mint, if you know what I mean. Office is probably hanging out with Metaton. Or, like, fixing up Metaton, you know? Because we kind of sort of destroyed that fool. But it was cool, I liked him. Nope. Progresso. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This is your idea. Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. You might snow it in front of papyruses. See ya, punk! Okay. Oh, wrong way. Seize the frick out of me. And it's left one. Yeah, because I could just take the boat. Tra la la, care for a ride? Where would you like to go? I would like to go to Snowden, please. Then we're off. Tra la la. Don't snoop behind people's houses. You might mistake. Oh, you might be mistaken for a trash can. What? Can we get some time? Tra la la. I will. Oh, this way. Uh, so I have a favor to ask you. I I need you to deliver this letter to Doctor Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Well, oh, look at the face. That that's an awoo face if I've ever seen it. It's kind of personal. But we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Alright, let's go deliver this letter. La la la, care for a ride? Oh, we have the cat boat. Here we go. I would like to go to Hotland, please. Then we're off. Run on the water. 
Pet, pet, pet. Next scratches indefinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. Come again sometime. Cha la la. Let's go. The door has no mail slot. Set the letter under. Yes. Set the letter under and give under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh no. Is it another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey. Well, this is a joke. It's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? What was the sign? So I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you wrote that way. It's surprising too. After all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less um... This. And so passionately too. You know what? Okay. I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah. Let's go on a date. Uh, <laughs> Go undone like self is too. Dating start. Question mark. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Oh my god, he looks so cute. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of. No, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, wait. Actually. You still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. It'll increase the chance for a successful outcome of the date, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. Have you stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this? First, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that, but. I bought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Oh, but, uh, well, how about the magical spear repair kit that I. That. Uh, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating! Start! Yeah, let's, um, date! <laughs> um. You. Link. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh, she's really... um... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on the date with you. Why? Because, um, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it, give it to me. Oh, you don't have it. Have you only seen her? Yeah. Yeah! Cause she's somewhere around here. Thanks! I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, um... I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know... It'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of... Pretend date with you? To make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. I'm not the person I am really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, I'm cool, but I'm dying. 
He's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the world scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told so many lies she thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. No, I know. Tell her the truth, dude. The truth? What if I tell her that? She'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? The truth where neither of us are. Say be yourself. Is that a rabbit in the background? That's the that's the dog. That's a rabbit. It got some spears over here. That's awesome. Well, I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They're they'll all get hurt because of me. How can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay. Which one of us will be Undyne? You will be Undyne. Me? Undyne? Um, okay. Let's do what I think she'd say, and you, um, show me what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> Yeah. Hey, Elvis, you look cute today. You say often, but platonically, because I would never like you. Yo, you're one hot, hot baby. <laughs> and done. Uh, uh, can we talk? I talk to you. I guess so. I often seem excited to listen to you for some reason. I can turn eye contact with you. You sweat while you talk. Oh, what is it? So I'm the truth. What? So you've been lying to me this whole time? Now, Fizz, I can't believe you. With the slime. You betray sure your friendship. I wish I trusted you. Hey, Alphys, I'll never love you. I'll never feel my passion and embrace. I, Undyne, I'll never kiss you with my beautiful lips. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. It's the occasion. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yeah. I I mean, no. I mean, we weren't, but, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, I'm dying. I, I was lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like, oh. You didn't make ice cream and human history books you're reading. You just dorky comic books and history movies. Those are just anime. They aren't real. And how I told you I was busy with work on the phone? I was needing for you to go in my pajamas. The outfits. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elphys! Nine, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Elphys! Shh! Shh! Shoot her in! For three! Yes! Elphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, what's what you really said doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Elphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training, you need to do it. Nine, you... You're gonna train me? Pfft, what? Me? <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna get papyrus to do it. Get those bones a shaking. <clears throat> yeah, it's time to young 100 laps. Learn about how rain we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing my best. 
Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, they're still real, right? Anime is real, right? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're gonna be better for her. I guess I'll catch up with them. Later! Did I just get friend zoned? This is not what I was looking for in my date. Hey, me, it's bobbing. Oh, ring. Howdy! If I doesn't want to go to friend, who trusts me? Unless the papyrus, you are also a mutual friend! Alphys and I finished our training early! Very early! So I sent her home! Very home! Now! I feel strongly for no apparent reason! You should also go there! To her lab house! I have only good feelings about this! Goodbye! I have a feeling he is very lying. Is the boat there? I hope the boat's there. Yes. To Hotland we go. Tra la la, care for a ride? Yes. Where will we go today? Let's go to Hotland. Then we're off. Tra la la. The waters are wild today. That's good luck. I don't know you ask. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Alright, here we go. No, oh, her music isn't even playing. Boo. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yeah. It's hard to read because of the handwriting. But you try your best. Hey. Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is for me to say this, you guys alone can't magically make all my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. For that, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, into the door to the north of this note. You well, at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. No. No, no! Warning. Warning. Elevator losing power. M tether. Stability lost. Altitude dropping. And that's the end for Undertale, ladies and gentlemen. We have died. <laughs> Hell. Nature number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create a power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we have we will have to use what we already have. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. So, oh, if only I could make a monster soul last. Mission number five. I've done it. 
Using the blueprints, I have extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Well, this isn't creepy. True laboratory. Jesus Christ. <laughs> go ahead and end the episode here so thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you later